Hey, welcome back to Bigfoot Running. This is Brad. Uh, we came up here this morning to check out the property that we put a bit on. One of the things I'm looking forward to if I do move here is being able to run. And I know in that direction, you've got to answer you. But I'm keen to see what's behind the house and uh, where I can basically get to from here. So I've driven back and um, I'm basically going to explore where I'd be running from this location. Oh yeah, and this is my first run since the Hyson, which means two weeks rest. I was actually going to go for a run early this week, but we've been pretty busy. Um, so I gave it two weeks. So yeah, two weeks rest, which was pretty much what I uh, hoped for. I think it's smart to give the body a bit of a rest after something like that, 115 Ks. I went pretty hard on the day as well, so feel pretty well recovered. Um, and yeah, we'll be back into it today. I could just start by jumping a fence straight away. Or I could go back to where the fire track starts. I might head back down the road towards the kangaroo and just see where that last fire track takes me. So here's the fire track. See where this takes us. We should go right behind the house. So there's the neighbours. There's the place. And yeah. Let's check this out. Hopefully we don't get too many idiots doing, coming out here doing the wrong thing, but I suppose you can get that anyway. As long as I'm the only idiot, then I'm alright. So yeah, there's a bit of a trail coming out here. What I want to try and do is get across to there, the black field. Now I might go back. And I'll go back down that fire trail and go a different way. Yeah, I can get used to this. Fence. Alright. So I'll go back out this way. Alright, so that's the uh, the immediate fire track. Let's see where this goes. Be able to see the quarry soon. I've always wondered where this one led to. I haven't come up this way because I've just felt like I'd be intruding on the houses that are here. It took me a while to actually realise there are houses here. There's the quarry down there. I think you're far enough to like, away to sort of avoid too much strife. People do come down here, including me. Yeah, you're right near uh, one of my favourite lookout points. I come here all the time. I've just never been up here. So to the right, this is the track I normally take to get up to the road. Back onto Anstey Hill. So we're going this way. So I'm pretty sure if you want to get to Black Hill, you're going to want to find a way over where I was before. But yeah, there are other ways. I could come down here, run around the quarry, enjoy the view. And then off that dirt track there. I've been around that way once. Should I go back and find my way through, or...? So I ended up coming back towards the house again. 
found a tiny little trail that led me here. So you got Black Hill, and it's gully, then Black Hill, with the torrents in between. River torrents. Just wondering how we get through here. Tell you what, I won't need to worry about crowded trails. Yeah. It's going cross country a bit. I reckon I can see a road, and that's the road I've run along before. So, just need to find a way through this fence. Found a way through. Hey, the unknown. So if you don't want to jump the fence or scale that tree, there's an opening here. It's feeling kind of doable. Yeah, this is cool. Spectacular. Now right across there. That's the house, right there. You can see it, this is the little hill we look onto. There's the quarry. This is just me fumbling around. I managed to find a way through first time. This is going to make it a bit easier for me to sweeten the deal. What do you think? Does it suit me? How much do you want it? That's my saying during ultra marathons, isn't it? How do you want to remember this? It's tricky though, it is a lot of money. But look at this one. Nestled between Black Hill and Anstey. Wow, the home of the Bigfoot. The views of the city. Crazy. And it looks like someone's been down here before. Yep. It looks like someone's been down there, maybe on a mountain bike. It's pretty hard for though. Go down that way. There's a dirt track I can see down there. Not so bad for me to go there, I think. If we are going to buy this house, I'm going home to paint, <laughs> clean the garage. If I don't, I'll be wishing I did. I'm going to go this way. I'm going to see what happens. So if you watched my Heisen race day video, thanks for watching that. It got a few views. If you haven't, check it out. I think it's a video or 95 out of 95 in that training series that I just did. So yeah, pretty happy with how it all came together. I think it was a great insight into the day. You should get a feel for what it's like to run an ultra marathon with your family there and everything. Um, one thing I kind of um, noticed though, it was really windy on the day, but there was a bit of wind noise that was hard to avoid. Um, so I've got the media mod now on the GoPro which has a slightly better microphone. You can attach a LED light to it that I also purchased. And um, yeah, the microphone has a bit of a, um, a sound suppressor on it, which by the way, I already thought I'm gonna break that sound suppressor foam. And they're not that easy to buy replacements, but I can 3D print one and make one if I need to. So yeah, hopefully you're not noticing as much wind noise now with the media mod.
Yeah, just heading down the hill, seeing where this all takes me. I remember when the wildflower trail was, was like this at Anstey Hill in the old days before they uh, smoothed it out. Old quarry. We're just exploring today. Bit of a recce. So this isn't the way. <laughs> Wow, I wonder what goes on down here though. Jesus, it's like hidden from everything. Wouldn't be surprised if that's a tent down there. Yeah, she's empty. Good. <laughs> South Australia has a little bit of history with those things. Right, we'll head back up here. Oh, no one's living there. See where this takes us. So there's the road. Back to civilization. So that's how close I am. I'm there and there's Black Hills, so pretty much is down this hill and across that road there. So 6.7 k so far today, but I've been going back and forth a bit. Be a bit of an uphill, but hey, that's what I'm training for. Kind of got my bearings a bit better now. Gonna head back up the hill. So back by uh, what I call the Hoon Quarry. Well, so there's the bridge and there's the road. do next time so I head that way and then head down that street there find my way to Black Hill that way I think the baby will just for a little bit tempting to do it now but like Crystal said if we want this place we're gonna save some energy for all the hard work we've got to do around our place to get it ready and we and we don't have long this whole thing could happen within a week or two. Stay tuned. Exciting times. I just walked up the hill. I came from that way. So I'm going to try it this way. See where it takes us. I could go that way. See where this leads first. Still exploring. Check that out. Thanks for tuning in.